I've searched many years on end. There. Did you have a day, great day yesterday? We're so glad you could join us today. My name is Mary Elizabeth. And I'm Caroline. What was the call out from yesterday? I know. It was Armor Up With Truth. Today, we're going to learn about David and Goliath. Hey, that's one of my favorite stories. What is it about? It's about learning God's justice. I know the call out for today. The castle call out is Armor Up With Justice. I have a joke. Who was the greatest babysitter mentioned in the Bible? I'm the greatest babysitter mentioned in the Bible. Do you think I'm in the Bible? No, it was David. He rocked Goliath to sleep. Okay, that was okay. Did you send the picture for your projects? If you did, then that's fantastic. If you haven't, that's okay too. But if you could send them to info at umtrimity.org, then we could share them with others. Are, Are you, you ready? ready? Yes, let's go. Hello Knights, today we are going to armor up with justice. We'll be creating a breastplate of justice which will help cover our hearts and remind us that God is always with us no matter what we might be facing. Like David facing Goliath, we can face those things and be strong in the Lord. To make today's craft, be sure to download the template um, off of our website. It may seem a little small, so if you are able to enlarge it, that's great. Otherwise, you can just trace outside the lines to make it a little bit bigger. For today, we recommend using brown construction paper, a brown paper bag, thin cardboard like a cereal box, but if you don't have that, no problem. Just cut out your template and you can color your, your breastplate any color you'd like. Along with the paper, you'll need markers, hole punch, yarn, a glue stick, and any other optional decorations that you want to add on. So trace your template onto the paper you're using, and then go ahead and decorate it. We also wrote justice on a blank piece of paper, and then colored it, and cut it out so that... Misa, will you please paste this on either one of yours? Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Right. And then Shihu, will you punch some holes in the top so that we can put this all Don't together? Hold them or... Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, punch. That one's a little tricky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oof. Good job. Now you'll want to make sure that the yarn that you're using is strong enough so that you can string it together and fit everything over your head. So, let's tie that off. Thread it through. Anything else needing hole punches? Not right now, thank oh. you. I need to empty out this whole bunch of that. Thank you. Listen to it. Okay, thank you. All right. Hey, <laughs> that happens sometimes. If it does, just make the just make the knot a little bit bigger. We can even come around the side here. Yay! And make the knot. There we go. All right. So, then we will get ready. Oh, this side oh. too. Oh, and no. we will yeah. so. armor up oh, no. with justice. This is like, oh. <laughs> right. That was a good thing. Hey, all you VBS knights. I'm Lizzie Conroy, and I'm going to be 
showing you how to put together our really cool snack for session two. And as you might have been hearing today, our castle call out is armor up with justice. So we are going to make a super cool castle out of graham cracker, pretzel sticks, blue Fruit Loops. I picked those out myself of the box. Now you can use Cheerios if you want, but I wanted to have a little blue for water. And then we have a marshmallow here. You can use a little one too, but I had a big one. So the first thing is, is that you are going to take your graham cracker. Oh, and make sure you have a plate, okay? And put it on the plate. And then here's another quarter and we're gonna break it into three pieces, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Let me see, one, two, three. See, it's not perfect, but you know, can kind of take that little piece off right there. We want them to be kind of in squares or rectangles. Okay, then I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay, get a little closer, Emery, thank you. Okay, then I take a pretzel and I take this and I'm gonna cut part of the I have a plastic knife. Have your mom or dad help you cut the marshmallow if you're not comfortable using a knife, okay? And this is gonna be our flag. Ooh, oh, put that right there on top. Scoot it down, I'll put it right there. Okay, then I have to have a door, okay? So I'm gonna cut a little bit more right here. Make a door, rest of the marshmallow. There's my door. Then I am going to add blue Fruit Loops for my water. Right here. You have to have water. You always have a moat in front of a castle. Fancy medieval castle where we're gonna armor up with justice. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna turn it around. You can look. Not bad. If you want, you can put some icing on there maybe to stick it all together, but Let's just say a quick prayer to thank God for our food. Dear God, thank you for helping us to be more just in your world and to love one another. Thank you for this food, amen. Hi, I'm Sydney and I'm a VBS counselor. And for today's science project, we're gonna be making salt art. The first thing you'll need is paintbrushes. You can either use a thin one a thicker one or a sponge brush. Sponge brushes hold more water and the thicker it is, the more water it will hold. So if you want it to look better, you can use a thicker brush. The next thing you'll need is salt. To open the salt, you stick your finger here and then you pull up. Then you'll need some water. This is for cleaning off the paint brushes. Then you'll need some paint to create the art. If you don't have any paint, you can use food coloring. To make food coloring paint, you can pour a couple drops into a glass of water. Then you can mix it around with a paintbrush. either a paper plate or some paper. Thicker paper will hold the paint better. Then choose your colors and start painting. If you keep your brush wetter, it will make it look better.
session of Rec 2, we're going to armor up with justice by setting up new cones in a relay race. So right now, I'm using cones, but you can use any objects that you want. And we're going to be setting these about 15 feet apart. So, yeah. If you're going to see how low you can and try and get this done in around one minute, I would say. I'm going to demonstrate. So now, we're going to start in three, two, one. Oh, what you laughing about? Can you remind me about the uh, about the verse for this week? Do you remember it? Oh yes, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His power. Ephesians six ten. Good job, Shelby. 
Now the question is, does God only help those of us who we expect to succeed? You know, the ones that we think are big and strong and are going to win? No. I mean, yeah, if I had to guess who would win in the story of David and Goliath, it'd be Goliath because he was bigger and stronger and he had more experience in battle. But God helps anyone that call on him and God gives them strength just like he did David because God is bigger than anything, even giants. Did you know that? I guess she knew that. Let's listen to the song now. It's about how big God is, bigger than any problem that we have. And then stick around for a bonus after the video. I hope you have a lot of fun.
I stand before you in the name of the Lord, yeah. You stand before me with your shield and sword, but I stand before you in the power of the Lord, yeah. Hey, hey, Goliath. Thank you.